All right, um, here we are. We're back in ZBrush. Um, now, unfortunately, I didn't um, save my uh, my project or save the uh, the tool that I constructed in the last lesson. I uh, left the um, uh, I left ZBrush open, and uh, of course, that was when Windows decided to update and restart the computer. So um, I don't actually uh, have. Um, anything for you, so uh, that's the end of the lesson. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, what this uh, does give us is an opportunity to just run through again uh, what we did in the last lesson and just sort of, just so if there are any sort of problems, if anybody is unsure about what what happened, um, I'll just do a very quick um, recap of, of, um, of what we did in the last lesson. So I've just brought in our um, our object, and what I'll do is I'll go down to display, flip, and yep, morph target, store morph target. Um, good. And now uh, I'll turn on frame. And polygroups, group visible. Group visible. group visible. Now um, I don't have to do a group visible on this um, central um, surface because that's still the original group. Um, just sort of saves a little bit time from a uh, uh, little bit of time from um, what I showed you uh, last time. And so uh, there we go we're all caught up with, um, with the lesson. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to crease these edges as I um, said I would in the last lesson. So uh, I'm just going to turn perspective back on just because I prefer to sort of see the perspective. And I'm going to hold down control and shift and I'm just going to click on this surface here. And that will hide everything else and just um, show only that polygroup. Now that I've uh, applied those polygroups, I can just close that menu out, and I'll uh, close that morph target menu or minimize those those um, those menus. Uh, now, um, under geometry, I'm going to um, press the crease edges button, and I'm also going to do that for all of these other groups. and this last one. And so there we go, we have uh, creased the edges. You can tell that they're creased because I have the frame uh, mode enabled. You can tell that they're creased because there is an additional line uh, surrounding the polygons of this, uh, of this surface, just around the border of, the, uh, of each polygroup. And um, we can uh, zoom in or, s or scale the object up to have a closer look, but I've got a feeling that, um, yeah, the, the actual lines themselves uh, scale um, in proportion to the window, not in proportion to the object. But you can see that they are, uh, there is now a triple line here instead of a single line. And that means that these edges have, have been creased. So uh, I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and tap somewhere on the canvas and that will um, frame everything up um, to fit in the window. Now uh, with that uh, creasing done, I'll show you what happens once we hit the divide button a couple of times. You can see that um, now instead of a rounded edge, all of these creases have this, um, this hard edge. Um, the good thing is that we have this um, uh, 
because we didn't crease any of these horizontal lines across these surfaces that this uh, these angles are all smoothed um, it's just wherever there was a crease that is um, that is kept a, to a hard edge there is one problem with this um, with this approach though and that's that these corners uh, because um, they don't have a um, uh, another surface attached to them the uh, the crease um, here um, doesn't stop the uh, the shrinkage that occurs from smoothing um, these polygons uh, and that can be a bit of a problem we can um, overcome that slightly uh, if we go into our brush menu and we can select the morph brush. Now uh, you'll remember that we stored a morph target um, down here. Uh, so what we can do is we go to geometry, we'll go back to our first subdivision level and you can see that the corners even at this level are shrinking in a bit. Now if we um, at this level using the morph brush um, paint on these corners you can see that those corners um, go back to to where they were when we imported this object um, uh, which looks fine at this subdivision level but when we uh, go back to our subdivision level 3 you can see that it doesn't entirely fix our problem um, now uh, we could probably get away with it because as I've said in previous lessons uh, these surfaces here are meant to be butting up against one another they're meant to be hidden um, uh, in our level geometry and so we shouldn't actually ever see those um, and this is going to be a normal map this the um, changes that we make in ZBrush we're going to apply as a normal or a bump map um, and also using the um, uh, ZBrush's displacement maps for a, uh, a height map. Um, we won't have any actual, we won't have this level of geometry in our game because that would be uh, a ridiculous amount of polygons to have um, in a game engine, particularly for a fairly um, basic static mesh that we're going to be using in a lot of places um, so we're going to apply what whatever uh, we do here using the um, using normal mapping and uh, and bump mapping uh, so uh, this uh, can be a little bit of an issue um, if it's if it's something that's going to be um, that's going to be visible uh, but as I said um, these surfaces aren't going to be visible if however you wanted to um, I've just uh, pressed undo a couple of times you can see that we're back to subdivision level one and there are no higher subdivision levels uh, what we can do if we want to avoid that sort of crimping at all is we can switch off the smooth modifier or uh, next to divide and now if we hit divide two times you can see we've gone up to subdivision level three um, but we haven't lost any of the shape and this is um, this is basically added subdivisions without smoothing out the geometry all of the angles are the same um, same sort of uh, in in the same position as as they were when we imported uh, however it does mean that these um, edges here uh, are, are also um, uh, subdivided as if they were hard edges and so we don't have that nice smooth curve there but we can um, do something about that and I'll just show you if I switch on frame that those um, polygons um, really are there it's just that they have been added um, as if they were sort of uh, just basic division of each polygon without smoothing and um, I'll show you uh, a way to fix this up in the next lesson.